Yes, my daughter works at CBN, but I spoke the truth about moving offices to Lagos. Senator Ali and Dume speaks for come to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we'll quote her JC News update. Please click on the notification bell. Ali Indume, chief whip of the Senate, says although he has a child that works in the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, his comments on the proposed movement of the headquarters of the proposed of the headquarters of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, FAN, and some offices of the Apex Bank to Lagos are the truth. Last week, the Senator representing Bruno Sao said there will be more for moving aforementioned offices. The Senator made a statement following the recent announcement that these offices will be relocated to Nigeria's commercial center. The development elicited varied reactions with modern stakeholders like Arewa Consultative Forum, ECF, and Indumis, who is outrightly rejected the decisions. Particularly, the WIP's initial comment elicited outrage in some sections of social media. While Doyo Kupe, a former presidential aide, said Indomie's comments were capable of sparking a crisis. Sunday, Karimi, a Senate representing Kogiwe, said his colleague spoke for himself and not for the Senate. However, Okupe backtracked later, later saying the Bono Senator meant well for the country. In his defense, Indome said his comments were born out of I spoke the truth. Speaking the capable Kibble speaking with the cable on Monday, and the mayor said his comments that, that there would be political consequences were the truth. Even if my ward is working in CBN, is she the only person that is going to be transferred to Lagos? There are hundreds of people that they plan to move to Lagos. Whenever an issue like this crops off, instead of addressing the issue, the people and some of the reporters will now concentrate on the messenger and not on the message, he said. So this is the kind of distraction. Let us discuss. Is it necessary at this time to relocate some of these departments and agencies of government back to Lagos? Why was the capital moved from Lagos to Abuja? Was it not because of conjecture, because of inconveniences, because of inefficiencies? And since then, Lagos has been expanding. This argument that they are forwarding, that is for efficiency. What efficiency? In today's world, where you can do transactions electronically. You can do your meetings by Zoom. You can communicate by WhatsApp. You can transfer documents by PDF. There is no excuse. There is, what's it called? Their decision. Okay. There is no excuse that their decision to move CBN and farm. All right. Coming to the political issue, yes, it must have consequences because when Tinubu was elected, he was not appointed. He was elected. Then, even if I have a word there, my daughter or son or whatever, which I do, I should not say anything if I see something wrong going on. I should not speak because my daughter is there. That does not work. You see, somebody has to stand up to speak the truth. This is what I'm trying to do. Let us say I have a word in CBN. Is there anything wrong with that? My daughter for spoiling All right. Unfortunately, okay. The brand new senator expressed confidence that Tunibu will take the right action on the issue. I am in APC and proud of APC, one of the staunch supporters of Mr. President said. Unfortunately, the people outside are trying to be more Catholic than the Pope. The Pope knows me very well, that is Tunibu. He knows I speak the truth. Tunibu will do something because he knows I spoke the truth. There will be political consequences. Having to see the reaction from the Castina elders and Northern as generally are against this move, is it not true that he will seek the votes of Northern in 2027? Is it not true that Northern again or the opposition would take advantage of this too? Now, the section of the North are telling us we told you that this man is a tribalist. Look at what he's doing. In one year, he has started making moves to hurt the knot. Being your daughter and others from the knot is one of the major reasons for moving some unique department of the central bank and some OG out to Lagos. The central bank is moved.
Bring your daughter and others from the north is one of the major reasons for moving some United departments of a central bank and some OGL to Lagos. If the central bank is moved to Lagos, can you allow your daughter to go to Lagos or stay alone, even if her husband is working in Abuja? Alright, which street do you have in your mouth to say? You're just a... You guys have shared Nigeria finish, head in Abuja, leg in Lagos, hand in rivers. Nigeria no remain again in a choke weather. I am beginning to have a rethink about the Igbos. Indeed, they remain the lone voice of the reason in this fraud and cliff called Nigeria. Yorubas must unite with the Igbos to end the filthy Boko Haram, not dictatorship. They are not as fearful of terrible genius and sagacity. And having failed to stop him with all their phantom initiatives, they want to weaken him and reduce his capability for serious contention as force in 2027. Nigeria must be restructured. Let us do this first. When we get to the bridge, we will know how to cross this. Okay? This man should keep quiet and stop and stop saying whatever he's saying. What truth is he even saying? Why are the Northerners lamenting and panicking over President Trump's decision to move some offices to Lagos? My question is this. Are these officers their father's inheritance or they are crying because their bum bum is about to be open? I fear the not with their bullshit everywhere. <laughs> Ndeme is boasting and speaking authoritatively that his daughter is working in CBN. But come to think of it. Ndeme is boasting and speaking authoritatively that his daughter is working in CBN. But come to think of it. <laughs> If his daughter is so exposed to competitive tests, can she ever qualify to work in CBN? He should just keep quiet and enjoy his opportunity while it lasts. My own is that um, everything he's saying is not true. He's not, he's not being in touch with reality. Indome knows that he's being truthful, selfish and unpatriotic in oppos opposing the relocation, relocation of some CBN department to Lagos. He suggests on that supervision and consumer protection should be online instead of moving his daughter to Lagos has shown how they want the country to move forward. They would be quick to support any policy that increases the suffering of Nigerians, but any policy that removes their children from their comfort zone. I don't really, okay. Senator, you did not speak any truth to you people who are suffocating the masses in Nigeria, but one day everything will come. I don't really understand your point too. The past CBN governor was a Southerner, even before Sanity is a Southerner. Even if you move office to anywhere, what make up an office is the person, not the building. The building remains where the persons come and go, but if there is no reading, be good. Okay, but if there is no going to be firing of staff for me, no cause for alarm, nobody is suffocating anyone as long as they are, that they are Nigerians and they are qualified. Alright, on this note, you have come to the end of the new. We say thank you for. Turning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.